Remove the center cap on the rear wheel of the vehicle. Do this on the side of the vehicle you are replacing the axle on. Green arrow. Use a small flathead screwdriver to lever out the center cap out of the wheel. Next, you will loosen the drive axle nut through the hole in the wheel. First, using a flathead screwdriver, lever open the peened over nut flange, the locking collar, that's behind the nut. Then, using a 30 mil or 36 mil, depending on the year of your car, 12 point socket and a large breaker bar loosen the rear axle nut. You can then safely lift support the vehicle and remove the drive wheel. Now you have to loosen the six axle mounting bolts, green arrows. You will need an E12 socket and a 4 inch extension. Loosen the bolts until they come out of the axle flange in the differential. You do not have to remove the bolts from the axle. The green arrows point to four of the six bolts. Rotate the axle to access all of the bolts. You can now remove the axle nut on the wheel side of the axle. Pull the drive axle, green arrow, down and away from the rear differential. Remove the axle from the vehicle. If the axle is stuck, you'll need to press it out of the hub using a universal axle extractor. The tool bolts to the hub pushing the axle out through the flange. The tool will also help pull the new axle through the hub when reassembling. If the axle does not slide out of the wheel bearing easily, tap it out using a brass punch and a soft-faced hammer. If you're replacing the drive axle with a new one, now is the time to remove the axle bolts and flat washers and transfer these parts over to the new axle. Install the axle in reverse order of removing, and install the axle bolts on the differential and tighten, then tighten the axle nut. You will need to complete the final torque of the axle nut with the vehicle wheel on and the vehicle back on the ground. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article, along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.